Okay, let's test audio. Microphone looks like it's picking up. This is a good sign. Let's kick it over to camera. Good evening. And welcome back to the Sunday Scaries. Uh, I'm very excited to be testing out a brand new game after we finished Mundane last time. Um, uh, this is going to be a game that was suggested to me by members of the Discord. Uh, we've got... Oh, jeez. Gosh. Stuff's going on. Okay, here we go. Um, so this was suggested by Tapao Vulcan and Hana Pengu. Uh, this is a game called Milk Inside of a Bag of Milk Inside of a Bag of Milk. I picked it up at the Steam sale. I It looks spooky. It seems to be some sort of vaguely point-and-click adventure type of game. We'll find out more as we go. Um, but I do want to kick it over to that now. So um, let's go ahead and make it happen. Help me buy milk. Okay. Write down your name. In honor of the Squinchy Collective, we are going by Squinchy. Indeed. Can I throw a Squinchy in the chat? Hang on. Yeah, I can. There we go. Okay. Ooh, it begins. Let me know, let me know how the volume is, by the way, if that's too loud. It looks a little loud. Um... I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. Stares knowingly at camera. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to? Shut up and go already. I choose who are you talking to. I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me, um, what if it helps me gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know. There are games where you can see the character's thoughts right on the screen, you know? So I thought, if someone's reading my mind, I need to be very focused so I don't blurt out too much. <laughs> oh, shoot, uh, Paris Mittens, can you not hear me? Um, hang on. Oh, shoot. Um, I see what's going on. You can hear but not see. Let me throw the... F there we go. This is what you were supposed to be seeing. Thank you. That is an excellent catch. Um, here we go. I take a deep breath of air. Hello? Can I... Crap. I forgot. 19th attempt, and here I am failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So, once again... Hello, can I get... <laughs> wow, that's a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the L sound... The I... Or L sound was longer than usual. Thank you. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello. Oh, hello. Can I? Here we go. Uh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Game, you didn't need to come for me like this. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, loser. Don't insult me, please. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. What? My right foot is frozen in the air. How much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. Oh, this is a different kind of thing than I deal with. You have to undo the previous step. Heh heh heh. How do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. I... I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ugh, here we go again. So. Step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute, what do you mean step one? 
What then? But uh, it's already step the 52nd. Or wait, I'm going backwards and then it's step the 50th? It doesn't add up. Okay. Okay. Step 50, then. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that, don't they? You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. Uh, the store closes in an hour, so... You will be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes! I carefully move my foot backward, looking carefully into the dense grass. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I... Wow. Excuse me, what? Wow. Excuse me, what? Wow. Excuse me, what? Wow. Like the font's getting bigger every time. Excuse me, what? Wow. Excuse me, what? Wow. Which I guess is zero or O. All. You shouldn't have done that. He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Excuse me, what? All. Excuse me, what? All. Excuse me, what? Wow. Excuse me, what? Wow. Excuse me, what? Wow. What? Wow. What is he trying to tell you? Sorry, one second. I wasn't missing anything in the other things. Uh, so a friend was asking why chat isn't enabled. It looks like chat is enabled for me. I'm seeing it in OBS, so... Uh, and I was responding before, so hopefully that's fixed now. Sorry, I'm just catching up. Uh, anyway, so what is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? Oh, it's the letter O. Okay, got it. What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you. Explaining it won't be enough, but keep in mind- Wah! Something like that. So I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. I gather all my will into a fist. Oh my god. Don't want Kashu. Give me strength. Oh? Oh! Achievement unlocked, oh. <sighs> My interlocutor shook and crawled away. You just repeated after him. And it worked. Do it more often. Wait, I said he crawled away. Did he... 
really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. I'm standing by the shelves. On the rack, there are bags of milk. We both stand, and the milk... Lies? Or maybe... Hey, 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 slow down. Do you even remember why you're here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Um... I guess something like not here? Not here, take the bag and go to the cash register, or you're getting on my nerves. I'll be literal. I guess the first sentence... And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. Do you want to rob me of my little victories? I sigh and reach out to take the milk, or rather, the bag with the milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Here's where I'm not used to things. I've not bought bagged milk before. But, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk, okay. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Like a shopping bag, okay. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a... Uh, uh, come on, come on! 15 minutes before the store closes, hurry up! I remember what these games are called. Visual novels. Okay, here we go. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, with letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But there the authors are not lazy, so don't get lazy either. Well, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up, or you'll get, or you'll get it at home again. I'm on my way. Hello, g can I g get some milk, please? You have it. Huh? Give. I put a weighty bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk too. Hi, c I can I can I have it, please? Oh, hello, Hanapengu! I'm glad that you are here. I am playing milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag uh, of milk inside a bag, as this it seems to go. No. Please. No. B please, my mom will throw me out the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? Pay for the milk. <laughs> really, what would I do without you? I take a crumbled bill out of the uh, out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. It took about two days before he nodded contentedly and put it in the cash register. Thank you, goodbye! <laughs> I walk down a familiar street past the gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it. I just love the pyramidal, uh, pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile-long bar of ice cream. Okay. 
What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. I mean, this one does feel like a you're just a weirdo one. Hey, Hanapengu, do you have any insights I should know about in playing this, or should I just kind of go with it? I'm sharing with you, and you. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grains, petrol stains. Just go with it? Okay, cool, cool. Will do. Uh, I'm trying to keep my balance. And how do people move over something as uneven as the city plane? Gently, heel, toe. I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. That seems poor. Please open your eyes. Hey, watch out! Uh huh? I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. Bear or automobile? Hey, I'm walking here! Got it. So there's two endings. Uh, you either get one or the other, and if you get one, you can play again to get the other. Okay. Cool, cool. Thank you, Honda Pengu. I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen! It was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their heads? Only in my nightmares. You could have died. Come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? No, no, accident, accidental deaths by cars, they happen. The world is a cruel and dangerous place. More true than ever. I'm not in the world you're talking about. Oh no? Oh, hello Artemisia. I'm glad you stopped in to say hi. This is a short game, you might be able to stay for all of it. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now, I can feel the cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that that's all just in your head? That's not what the manual said at all. Apparently, these pills don't work for me either. You know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever's reading this right now. Uh, say hello to the Squinchy Collective. It could hurt your recovery. I don't care. Do you hear me? Hanapengu, Pair of Smittens, Art of Mesia, are you listening? I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought block. Ellipses. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench, the perfect place for cliched visual novel monologues. I move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my hand to the, or my head to the sky. Listen. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? I will be honest with you, and I expect the same from you. Please. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. 
Well, I'm not really surprised. I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Oh, I'm looking over and I see. Thank you, uh, Artemisia. Yes, we are shattering that fourth wall. And Hana Pengu, thank you for the squinchies. Sometimes I regret it because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnoses. Let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. Even though I made you up. Don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. <laughs> What's it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since <clears throat> something happened, all I see is red, red blood everywhere. Now don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what the other colors looked like. Come on. <laughs> Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I knew they wouldn't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Really? Promise? Really? Promise? Really? Promise? Really? Okay. At one point it looked like the middle changed, but I'm not sure. I'm serious. Of course, you couldn't help but ask. I think if you said anything other than yes or no, I took it as a no. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you're really that interested in what happened to me? I won't waste time. What do you see? Anyway, this is my dad. Some of his parts, at least. Oh, yikes. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I never would have thought. Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he just jumped out the window and died. This is my last memory, then. A long gap. Strange. Very strange. Today's the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however. I think it's more your merit. I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader, or, oh my gosh, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but it clearly paid off. Thank you. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it. <laughs> and yet, I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad... Well, you know. Day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> but you know what? Today's a special day, because I have you. There's so much I want to tell you. What? what? That was very rude of you. Oh no. I'm not going to pressure you, I'm just advising you to go home. 
I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing. Repeating this action every day, like a ritual, I stopped being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoyed the blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head. Mixing with the sounds of the world around me, they create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and I go to my apartment. Did you bring the milk? Hi, Mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes, Mom. Did your new medicine help? I just got a text from my actual parents. Give me one moment. Okay, here we go. Back to the game. Yes, Mom? Go to bed. Yes, Mom? Achievement unlocked. Milk bought. Okay. It looks like we're back around. That's one playthrough of the game. Uh, Alright. Uh, if you want to bail now, that's cool. I may go back again and try and get a more cursed ending and see how dark this goes. So if you're ready, we can strap in. <laughs> Thank you, Hana Pengu. I'm glad that that was the, the good ending and that we won. Now it's time to see what happens if we lose. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Do you want to lose the game? Exactly. Yeah, well, now, now that I know that there's a second ending, let's see what happens. Good time to exit Artemisia. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Okay. Yeah, so there's a very mean route. Let's find out what happens with that. I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store! Shut up and go already. Hey, aren't you supposed to help me? I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I... Crap, I forgot. 19th attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So, once again, hello, can I get... Wow, that's a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows. Hello, can I... Oh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Haha, <laughs> loser. Don't insult me, please. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot in the grass for a full minute now. What?! My right foot's frozen in the air. Uh, how much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. You have to undo the previous step. <laughs> how do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You're so stupid. Ah!
Looks like Cursed doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. one of the ones from this weekend. Fout. There we go. I hope you can do it better than Cursed. <laughs> oh, I got a different very bad ending. Nice. So there's, there's several endings, it seems. I walked down to the store. I'm not going to read this part again since I just read it. Are we going to play the silent game? Okay. I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I... Crap, I forgot. Alright, so we're back again once again. Hello, can I get... Yeah, this is all not choices. Who knows? I guess we'll say don't worry this time. There we go. Pushing the unreality thing. Okay, interesting, Hanapengu. Yeah, um, let's see here. I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ugh, here we go again. So, step one, take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute, what do you mean step one? What then? Well, it's already the 52nd step. Or wait, I'm going backwards, so this is the 50th step? It doesn't add up. Okay, step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without, a without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. That must be a cultural thing. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. Store closes in hours, so you'll be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes. I carefully move my foot backward, looking carefully into the dense grass. Cut two. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I? Oh, this is a lot of O's. I'm not gonna read every one of these again. We'll be here all night. He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you, explaining it won't be enough, but keep in mind that it will cost me a dozen nerve O. Oh. Something like that. Easily the scariest part of the game, I'd say. Uh, in just regular playing. Most startling, maybe? I don't know. So I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? I gather all my will into a fist. This hand of mine is glowing red. Its loud roar screams for me to grasp victory. Oh? The mother's face is a bit unsettling, it's true. I agree, Hanapengu. Oh! My interlocutor shook and crawled away. You just repeated after him. And it worked! Do it more often. Wait, I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me, but I know that my words were shown on the screen. for milk. Do you remember why you're here? To buy milk? To buy it? What do you expect me to say? See, here's a chance to be mean again. You're getting on my nerves. You don't want to help me at all, do you? I sigh and reach out to take the milk, or rather the bag with the milk inside, or rather a bag of milk inside a bag, or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk, 
or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. The ways of milk bags are odd. <laughs> come on, come on. 15 minutes before the store closes, hurry up. I remembered what those games are called, visual novels. By the way, the numbers are written there in full with letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But there are authors that are not lazy, so don't you get lazy either. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth. <clears throat> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or you'll get into home again. I'm on my way. Hello, can I get some milk, please? You have it. Huh? Give. I put a weighty bag in the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk, too. Hi, can I have this, please? No. Please? No. But please? My mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not give more? But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? Oh, interesting. A three choice. They hate you is more interesting to me. Well, why? Oh. God. No, this one's rough. I don't want to read it aloud. Uh, you can you can see it on the screen, but it's a lot of negative self-talk. And it's referencing a oh, pretty tragic thing. Um, I will pretend that I didn't hear that. Well, you should, because I didn't even read it aloud. Why are you telling me this? Oh, this is another bad one. I don't like it. I'm not going to read it aloud. Um... That's another negative ending. Negative self-talk defuses it again. Looks like Fout doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a lot, right, Hanapengu? I don't really uh, I don't really think I want more negative endings like that. I think I might be good without that. And I will rest comfortably in the knowledge that we won on the first try, and that's the one that counted. Yeah, I had a feeling that like all of the bad endings are roughly the same, but getting up to them can be different, it seems like. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a big yikes from me. So, I like the fact that we were able to guide our protagonist via the visual novel interface through to be able to, uh, well, hang on. I'm just putting this back up so it's not silent. Um. Oh, but it's gonna keep getting louder. Eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, I think this is going to be a short Sunday Scaries because I don't know if I want to start the other one. Uh... <laughs> right, right. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. So you pushed acceptance of unreality instead of avoidance? Huh. Fair enough. Yeah, no, I just went with my gut and it seemed like the right way to go and ended up getting the milk, so that's good. But, uh... Okay, and then next week we'll do the sequel, Milk Outside a Bag of Milk, Outside a Bag of Milk, and we'll see how that goes. Oh no, why actually, no. Hang on. At Sunday Scaries, we don't do the sequel immediately, otherwise we would have done the Carrie and Christmas special, and we would have done Yomawati Midnight Shadows, and some of those other ones right away. So I may, I may hold off on Milk Outside a Bag of Milk, Outside of a Bag of Milk, and do a completely different game from the list next week. If I can get um, American McGee's Alice running in that time, then I will. If not, uh, then we'll see what comes up. Maybe Eternal Darkness. But either way, uh, it's been a delight getting to share this very strange and at times very, very penetratingly real game uh, with all of you. And uh, I look forward to, uh, to more Sunday Scary streams next week. Probably not the week after because I'll be out of town. Um, and then going forward, we've got lots of choices coming up. So, uh, thank you all. Have a great night. I'll go ahead and, uh, kick it back over to here. So, uh, all right. Uh, pleasant dreams. 
may you always be able to get your bag of milk. <laughs>